Hello everybody, thank you very much for watching. In this video we'll revisit Vortex Cloud Gaming Service. Quite a while ago I was using a Vortex Cloud Gaming Service to play games, but back then it was in sort of beta and it was a buggy. I, I had to wait 20 minutes, half an hour just for game to load um, and for me to be able to play. But since then uh, I believe they, they upped the game and um, it's much, much better to use it at this moment. So what I did, I signed up for one month to to play on Vortex, it's $9.99 a month. Me personally, I'm more as a Shadow Cloud Gaming Service fan because it's, it's outstanding performance from a Shadow Cloud Gaming Service. If you wanna check Shadow Cloud Gaming Service, I will leave a link in the description below with a coupon code, which will get you $10 or 10 pounds off of your first month. But anyway, uh, the, sh the Vortex. So I got the Vortex app and loaded, installed, and signed up for my month, one month subscription. So let's start. So here you go. This is starts, and now uh, it's also logged in. I already logged in into this account. So if I go to my account, here you go. I have 999 hours, 49 minutes remaining because I've done a bit of gaming already. I have my Steam, uh, Steam client, Steam account linked. That's how the games are being picked up from from uh, to play so as example um, apex it says included so that means i don't need any accounts anything i just log in with my apex account no, sorry let's go back you don't need to purchase anything so you sign up for vortex cloud gaming service you log in with your apex or origin account and you can play it the same as over minecraft or with let's say gta 5 it says license required what that means you need to own the game on Steam. You need to go to a Steam store and purchase the game. And then when you link your Steam to Vortex, you can go and play. Let's say, what's this? Does this require to play? You need to own this game on Steam. So as example, I need to own this game. I need to have a license. I need to purchase this game and then I will be able to play it. So I have a couple of little games uh, I own on Steam. One of them is GTA 5, and one is Borderlands. I have, what else I have? I have a couple of more. I can't remember which ones I actually own, but let's start with the Borderlands. I can't see the Borderlands anywhere in this list. I might be looking incorrectly. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go and start search. So Borderlands. So yes, Borderlands 2. I purchased Borderlands 2 for five pounds during uh, Steam sales. Here, uh, it was I think on the 25th of June uh, was the Steam sales. It was like 495 or 505 or something, some ridiculous price. And I purchased and I have all the DLCs and everything for five pounds somewhere around. So I own this game and it says to play this game, you need to own the Steam. So I own this game on Steam. I linked my Steam account to Vortex. So let's go and play. I know that this game runs outstanding running. Uh, I can play this game with super high graphics on the Shadow Cloud Gaming Service. Let's see what the Vortex will do. Just before I start, if we go to the settings under quality settings, at the moment it says 15 megabits per second and let's do 60 FPS. And connection test, let's test my connection. What? Connection test hasn't been available. Please try again later. Okay, so we're not gonna run a connection test. We're just gonna jump in straight into the game. Uh, let's find Borderlands again. Borderlands. Before I start the game, I'm using a Microsoft Designer keyboard, Bluetooth Microsoft Designer keyboard, and a Bluetooth Microsoft Designer mouse. And everything's connected to my Note 9. It's over Wi-Fi. I do not have Ethernet connected to my DeX. It's over Wi-Fi and I'm using my Pixel 1 to record internal audio, which is just got locked. So it's still recording, that's great. So let's start. One thing I noticed before uh, recording this and I was testing this out, uh, loading, loading speed is way faster than it used to be. To start the game from clicking, um, I've already done that. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna use my Note 9 to connect to my Gmail, and I need to authenticate Steam again, which I already did and already played. So, okay, GMTT3, so authenticate. Remember this PC, yes. 
it's asking me to authenticate again anyway if I'm gonna do this every time then it's a bit of bummer so borderlands right in the settings let's go so one thing I noticed when I was playing before recording there is no 1080p resolution there is no 1920 by 1080 the maximum you can get is 720p which is not great uh, auto detect settings uh, okay let's do auto detect settings why not maybe this one will will do 1080p so the game is loading and yes the loading of the game and starting the gaming on vortex is much faster than it used to be but sadly um, from what I'm looking now it doesn't really levels the negative and positive uh, opinion basically my opinion about this and what we need to do next okay so it's it's basically uh, I got some stats on the top left corner it says the I don't really have a clue what this says audio decoding latency one to one video decoding latency between zero and minus one transmitted traffic 0 0.46 kilobits per second package lost non package lost okay receiving traffic 0 megabits per second so uh, great I was able to play this game before recording and now we just I can't so let's close the game uh, performance not that great send and let's start again I already did this it's gonna ask me to authenticate again I bet you with shadow cloud PC, cloud gaming service uh, it's 26 pounds British pounds a month here in UK but believe me it's, it's worth it if you're gonna get all the time this kind of thing 62 QVP remember yes remember this PC let's try play again Imagine you need to do this when you actually mobile. I mean, you have your phone, you have something like this, you have a phone inside here and you're going and playing and it's asking you to authenticate Steam again. We're just gonna jump straight into play and see what's gonna happen. I do all the gaming in the Shadow Call Gaming Service, not on Vortex. Okay, we have something. Let me, while it's loading, bear with light here. Let me check if the sound has been recorded. It's fine. Graphic doesn't look that good, to be honest. Okay, the letters are very pixelated. Okay. Okay. Let's wait, let's wait, let's wait and see what's gonna happen. Searching for downloadable content. It's probably trying to get all the DLCs that I bought downloaded and, and ready for me to play. Okay, we're in, continue. Graphics are very, very bad. 720p on the low res. Okay, as you can see, there is a mouse pointer, which is, to be honest, don't really bad it's not like distracts me or something well it will possibly distract me gaming but right one thing mouse inputs detected that's fine right let's go kill some bully monks um so i'm like whoa what's this oh I can't do as you right you see there top left corner top left corner I hope you can see I hope my screen recording thing is recording you see there is a, a like a gray box behind it so it means any button that I press like space etc it's just gonna activate that menu okay okay 
Okay, this is really, really, really bad. Okay. Right, space. And now it's stopped. It's constantly moving. See? Because it's... It. So, Vortex on Dex is not that great. So, let's save and continue and go try another game. And let's go and see... I'll try GTA 5. I, I have a GTA 5 uh, game. I own that game on, on Steam as well. As well. Uh, I bought it when it was on sale. So we're going to try the game. Right. Apparently I need to click here. Okay. Okay. Uh, performance rubbish. Rubbish performance. Okay. Let's go back. Uh, GTA 5. Let's see how GTA 5 will work. So press play. So it's loading a machine, synchronized machine state. Okay. This is. Okay. Let's do this again. So let's go in. My inbox, basically, uh, in Gmail is all filled with me just getting the Steam. Steam. Uh, Steam. Steam. Credentials. Uh, right, G R C W P, and it says remember this PC, this computer, but it keeps asking and asking and asking. And to be honest, it's I got enough. Right, it's loading GTA 5. Let's see how GTA 5 will be able to because again, I'm using the Shadow Ball Gaming PC. Right, this thing, um, last time I played GTA 5 inside Vortex was about maybe five months ago why it's telling me this it means i shut down gta 5 incorrectly five months ago but between that time and now i was enable cloud yes downloading files okay again you i hope you can see that the quality is absolute rubbish the streaming quality is bad on decks well on a pc might be different if you're using on a phone might be different basically and on a phone come on the pixels are so squashed you're probably not going to even notice the difference uh, but on my deck setup and i'm using aoc hd monitor and i'm seeing every single pixel i mean let's wait and let's wait and see what's going to happen okay so while it's loading let's talk um about gaming uh Lately, I start receiving comments uh, that you would like to see gaming on Dex. So uh, I would like you to suggest what kind of game you want me to try on Dex. If you want me to, I don't know, try to streaming from cloud gaming service, or would you like uh, have some Android gaming, something like, I don't know, Legends, uh, Shotgun Legends game or something like this, and uh, I'll do a video about it. Because just by saying comment, oh, can you do some gaming videos? Well, yes, I can, but can you be a bit more specific, please? Okay, right, this is gonna be fun. Uh, you see, there's two mouse pointers, and and oh my God, so ch a rubbish thing. I'm not gonna even try. I mean, I'm going to see how to cancel. Uh, uh, cancel subscription, yes, please. Okay, it's asking me to go to the website. Right, I'm gonna cancel subscription. I literally paid 10 bucks before recording this video and I'm already regretting. If you wanna play casual gaming and you don't really care about the graphics or something and you play with a controller which actually I need to try let's see if I get the controller working let me go back into borderlands let's try with the controller borderlands let's go into there and press game oh no he's gonna ask me steam account again oh great let's get let's get that ready so you you're on a mobile right you you hold the phone in here like this and it says activate your steam account you're like you go on email it's 
you want to game, you want to jump in game and start going and looting, killing, and etc. You don't want basically spending time activating your Steam account every time you want to play. Okay, uh, play. So with controller, we're gonna try with controller now. We're gonna try with this controller. This is, by the way, Xbox One Bluetooth controller with shadow uh, phone mount. And it's got like this metal thing, which is, you can like rest it and it's, it's brilliant. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So let's try with the controller. Let's see how controller will work. Yes, searching for downloadable content. I'm really regretting spending 10 bucks on this now. Uh, great. Uh, great, come on. Okay, continue. Let's see how it goes. Okay, let's go. So, quality again, not the greatest. So, let's check. Okay, I just threw a grenade. Shoot. Come on, aim. They are coming to kill me now. Okay, here's one. They're throwing stuff at me. Great. And very slow in loading. Come on, boy. Really? Come on, Claptrap. Which button is to change the weapon? Yes, okay. Let's go. Quality, again, I'm telling you again and again, the graphics is not the great. Not the great graphics. Okay, uh, let's go here. Yeah. One thing uh, while, while I'm playing this, a downside with Shadow PC at this moment is storage. Uh, with the monthly subscription, you will get only 250 gigabytes of, of storage. So 85 gigabytes is GTA 5. So that's already like more than like two quarters of your storage gone just by installing one game. Anyway, that is Vortex, Vortex Golf Gaming Service. Uh, Bad quality graphics. Bad quality. Bad quality. Uh, laggy. <laughs> really bad quality. Here you go. Vortex. Cloud gaming service. After six or seven months of break, I came back to Vortex to test how it's working. And literally within 10 minutes or so, I started regretting that I joined again. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next one. Goodbye.